What could possibly be a better idea than jumping with tongs to try to catch a balloon? She's taking selfies. All right, so a few more details about our move to Puerto Rico. And it's scary to have her admitted into the hospital and right now for them to not know what's wrong. Nay, nay, reading. Today has really loved reading lately. Boom, 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 boom. Stomp your feet and clap those hands. Everybody ready for a barnyard dance. Bow to the horse, bow to the cow. Twirl with the pig if you know how. Bounce with the bunny and strut with the duck. Spin with the little chicks. Clunk, clunk, clunk. With the neigh and a moo and a cock a doodle doo. Another little promenade, two by two. Janae really likes to be able to access her belly button. So she unzips her onesies. All right, you get that belly button. Back to the reading, Dad. Trot with the turkey, leap with the frog, and take another spin with the barnyard dog. It's cold out, which means that we need to go to the library and get a bunch of books to snuggle up and read by the Christmas tree. Usually, I put loads of Christmas books on hold at the library. This year, I'm not that organized, so we're gonna see what we can find. Sports books? Yeah. They have these baskets here, and Laura likes to carry the baskets. Or it can roll. That's snazzy. Did you find some good books? Yeah, but... Now we have to search for three more. You're looking for three more books? Okay, good what? luck. Shoo la la. Shoo la la. She found one that she had to stop and read. Looked too good to wait. At least found a fun one. Is it teaching you lettering? Like how, how to, to make? like draw cool letters. Let's see. Like bubble letters. Nice. You would love that. Good find. There's a bunch of biographies about famous people, so I'm just like looking through them. What? There's a whole thing about Walt Disney. Can I get it? Sure. This is just part of the stash. Success. Well, I think we have five bags of books. Should make for a fun afternoon and quiet. My kids are always so happy when we get home from the library. It's the best. All right, so I've been on the doctor, on the doctor. I've been on the phone with the doctor already this morning about Janae and she's been talking to a team of specialists and they're just trying to decide what the next step is for her. They're supposed to know, let me know by the end of the day today what they would like us to do next. And one of the options is admitting her to the hospital for some testing for a couple days. Another one would just be going to see some more specialists. Some of it would be more blood work. So I'm kind of on pins and needles waiting for that phone call. Well, it is once again that time of year to get our teeth cleaned and check if we have any cavities. So we're waiting. I just filled out a bunch of paperwork. And I just realized that we're only about a month and a half away from you being five years old. You're going to be nine. Caleb will be seven. What flavor are you going with? I don't know. Sweetheart, we have chocolate, bubblegum, mint, grape, strawberry, watermelon, birthday cake, or cookie dough. Cookie dough. Cookie dough. I love strawberry. All right, what flavor? Strawberry. That's what I we're going with, too. Yet. How does it taste? Red. And close together? I'll take great. All right. Look what I just found this girl doing. She's taking selfies. It's a mama Oh, you're taking pictures now. It starts so young now. Wow. Yeah, did you take a picture? I missed it. This girl electrocuted me. Do you wear this to keep you from being electrocuted? Mm -hmm. Good thing. I hate when I get electrocuted, it's the worst. So the concern isn't that you get electrocuted, they put lead here to just protect you from the waves that come out of the picture. Oh. I don't know if that's correct. Yes, it's the clear. radiation. You have There's radiation. The radio job and hold your head really, really still, okay? Really still. Do you like the TVs on the ceiling? I love Christmas. What are you going to do after this? Are you going to go back to work or school? We're going to go to Puerto Rico for a long time. Oh wow, I love Puerto Rico. That will be so fun. This bump. No cavities for Laura. <laughs> no cavities for Yay. 
We can't wait to follow your trip on YouTube. Yes. No cavities. That's good, bud. Last time I came, I didn't have a loose tooth, but this time I do. What? Show me. This one. Oh, that's awesome, buddy. He hasn't lost any teeth yet. He's pretty anxious to try to get there. Change that no later. Cavities, <laughs> What are you guys gonna get out of the token? I'm really proud of you guys. Somebody okay. got me. I got a pink one. <laughs> Perfect. I'm really proud of the kids that have no cavities. Where did your balloon get stuck? Caleb's trying to get it down. <laughs> it's gonna break the chair. Ooh, of course. <laughs> Recovered! We're gonna be taking you to the dentist soon. That's not my puppy. His collar is too shiny. That's not my puppy. Its ears are too shaggy. <laughs> what are you doing, bud? Day -day and she's like, oh, I have a better idea. What could possibly be a better idea than jumping with tongs to try to catch a balloon? You are so close. <laughs> They decided they needed a bigger tool. <laughs> Go for it! He got it! Good job. Good job, Isaac. We're packing lunches for school tomorrow, but we're out of honey, which is a big problem because Caleb can't use our jam because it's cross-contaminated, and we don't have a new jar of jam, so we're getting creative. He's going to have a peanut butter and butterscotch syrup sandwich tomorrow. Ooh. I hope you like it. I feel important. We started a new thing. Mm. Butter and butter stuff. Mm. We well, just got the phone call that we've been waiting for all day from the doctor, and they do want me to go take Janae and admit her to the hospital. We're gonna go down this afternoon, and hopefully, we're gonna see some specialists. They're talking about doing a scope where a tube would go down her throat and check out some of her GI system. They're talking about putting a feeding tube in just temporarily. They're talking about feeding studies. I don't really understand everything yet, but I'm hoping once we get there and I get to talk to the doctors, I can really understand all the different things. And I'm a little bit emotional. Wasn't on our plans for the week, and it's always scary when something's not going the way it should with one of your children, but I'm. Really grateful that there's a lot of treatment options and a lot of wonderful specialists and hopefully we can figure out what's going on so that she can gain weight and grow. We really wanna do everything we can to help her. They said to expect to be in the hospital for a couple days, maybe even up to five days. So I'm packing our bag, trying to think of everything that I might need and I'm so grateful we have some wonderful friends that are gonna be helping with the big kids and helping so that Jeremy can come down and see us at the hospital and that just takes such a weight off of my shoulders. Are you ready to go? Mm. Ah. Let me come see you later tonight, okay, big girl? Why do we have a whisk in the car? It's a toy whisk. Is it a toy whisk? I don't know, I was like cleaning up <laughs> trash in here and it was down there. I thought she'd like it. It's pretty cool. All right, let's go. All right, we made it to the hospital. Here we are, this is our hospital room. They checked Janae in and she's doing great so far. They got her blood pressure and everything. We're just waiting to see the first of many doctors. She's kind of timid about everybody, but she's doing well. Janae is so precious and it's scary to have her admitted into the hospital. And right now for them to not know what's wrong. I've honestly cried several times today with even the possibility that something could be wrong with her. I can't imagine as a parent what it would be like to find out that your child has cancer or some kind of life-threatening disease. And we're not there with Janae. That's not what we're hearing, that's not what's going on, but it's interesting how having something like this where we don't know what's wrong with her and we're going into the hospital and it just starts to open up some of that thinking. But it's a scary thing, it's vulnerable, it, it can hurt a lot, but it really is a beautiful thing. And it's interesting how hard times and scary times sometimes really help you realize how much love you have and how much you care about another human being. Well, I'm coming down to see Janae and Kendra and bring some food. Janae was so happy to see him, but now she's just bossing him around. She wants him to play. Over and over again. Are you kidding? <laughs> come on, Dad. Hey. <laughs> Janae, do you want to come eat with us? Yes. Yes. 
Just Never kidding. Mind. I meant I want to go back in. So I knew Jeremy was coming down here, but he got here a little quicker than I thought. And so when he opened the door, it was like the best surprise ever. Kiss your small hands as you reach for my face. Kiss your sweet neck. It's my favorite place. I kiss your five fingers that squeeze mine so tight. I kiss your strong arms and you squeeze with delight. All right, well, we just talked to the doctor for a nice long while, and this little girl is going to be getting a feeding tube tonight. They stick a tube down her nose that goes straight into her stomach. And that's going to give her the calories and the nutrients that she needs to be able to grow. All right, Janae. Janae's really tired right now, but they're actually wanting to put it down so that she can start getting the nutrients through the night while she's sleeping. She got the feeding tube and she did not like it. Like any normal person would not like it. It was really sad to... It's hard to watch her going through this. The only thing that's soothing her right now is watching J House vlogs. <laughs> she misses the kids. Yeah. Good night, J House out. It smells horrible. <laughs>